With Kentucky, we have head coach Rachel Lawson, Kelsey Nunley, and, Sil and Silver Samuel. Uh, we'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Lawson. First, I want to thank you for being here so late. Um, I thought today was a good. I thought today was a good game. You know, you never want to be on the the losing end of things, but I thought that the. Uh, I love the fight that my team showed throughout the game. You know, they they were able to capitalize. They got two runs early, but then the game was tight the whole time. And then, to put ourselves in the position to win in the seventh inning. So I was really proud of the fact. Um, that they did that. With that said, I thought that, you know, I thought Trina was absolutely outstanding um, this evening. I, she, uh, one of the things that I was so impressed with her pitch speed, we haven't seen anyone that's even come close to touching those numbers all year. And we play a very good schedule. We've played a lot, of, a number of great teams. I thought that she was outstanding. And, and in my opinion, she proved that she's the best pitcher in college softball tonight. Thanks, Coach. We'll now go to the floor for questions. Uh, Joe Bettner, fan sided. Uh, Coach Lawson, last night, uh, Coach Murphy from Alabama uh, referred or labeled or called your team a Cinderella story. Has that been the mindset with this group of girls? Well, we know we're the Cinderella story just simply because every time we step on the field, we're the underdog. Um, but I don't. I don't think that they feel. I think they feel like they're prepared. I think that they feel that they're good, and I, and I believe that. Um, every player on our team believes that they have um, a shot to win every game that we're in. The thing that I love most about my team is they respect softball and they respect everybody that they're playing against and playing with just because they love the game and they love all the great athletes that they get to see day in and day out in our conference. And then also in the postseason, we've seen a number of great people. So with that said, um, we know that we're the underdog, but because we respect every we respect everybody, but I don't believe that our team fears. I think they know if they play their game, they have a good shot to win. Pat Ramsey, Cat Scratches this is for Coach Lawson. I'm just curious about what you thought your, the way your team sort of changed the approach to to train as the game went on. It looked like they went the opposite way a couple times in the seventh. Did you sort of build on that seventh inning getting in tomorrow? Oh, without question. I mean, I, I, a couple of things happened. I think, first of all, that under the light, Trando's outstanding, and under the light, she's, she's incredible. And I think that it took us that long to really adjust visually to it. And I, so I think when you see bad swings early in the game and when you see a little bit of indecision, sometimes those are visual things going on even though they manifest themselves differently. So I, um, I definitely think that our team felt good in the seventh inning. I think that they, um, they felt that was the fight that we've had this entire postseason. And um, they know that they have, more, they have more life in them. They have an, at least one more game tomorrow. So they know that they can come out, they can play. And I, and I felt we've, we did not, by any stretch of the imagination, we are not satisfied with losing. But I think that we gained a lot of confidence in the seventh inning. And we felt like our normal selves that we've had since the SEC tournament. Uh, Greg Eklund for the Courier Journal. This is for Silver. Can you take us through your at-bat when you beat out the infield roller? And then uh, just the mindset of the team, knowing that uh, if you had a runner aboard, whomever was at the plate just uh, still represented the tying run. Um, I was just trying to get something started for the team because we were just trying to get a couple runs on the board. And so I just wanted to battle. And I wasn't very satisfied with my previous at-bat, so I just wanted to get something started so that we could score some runs. Uh, Kelsey, uh, you don't get the day off tomorrow, but uh, do you see any benefits to being able to get out there tomorrow and play? Um, yeah, I love to play softball, so and I know my team loves to play, so uh, yeah, we're ready to play tomorrow. <laughs> Dick Gabriel with the UK Network for the players. Could you both talk a little bit about dealing with the disappointment, and, but having to process it, put it behind you, forget about it, and playing again tomorrow in such a big game? Well, t uh, Alabama's a great team, and we know that everybody here is a great team. So hopefully we can just take the momentum that we had towards the end of the game and carry it over till tomorrow. Um, I, we're a tough team, and I know we'll battle back from this. Um, it's just another bump in the road, but we like to play extra games, so <laughs> we'll, be, we'll come back from it. Scott Wright with the Oklahoman. Uh, Kelsey, could you talk about uh, the challenge of knowing that you're li likely going to be playing two tomorrow, um, and, uh, and you know, have you done that throughout the season at any point? And what do you do to prepare yourself physically for that? Well, we played um, against UCLA. We played two on Sunday, so um, I know we can 
come back from tonight and battle hard tomorrow. And for me, you know, I'm just going to sleep a lot tonight and ice and ibuprofen so we can uh, go at it tomorrow. You know, one thing I wish I would have said in my opening statement, I don't know if anybody saw the video board when the game started and they had Trina next to Nunley and the stats were identical, like identical. I thought that they had made a, a typo. Wins, ERA, all that. It was so similar. The biggest difference being Trina's a senior and Kelsey's a sophomore. So I, I thought that, and then when you look at the box score and you see that um, Jackie threw 108 pitches and Nunley threw 108 pitches. I think that um, I think that says something about our team. I think it also says something about the SEC. It's it's a tough conference. You have two teams left that are from the SEC and a third one. I thought we fought hard tonight and we kept the games close. So I, I wish I would have said that in my opening statement because that's the thing that um, probably shocked me the most this evening. This is kind of a follow-up for that because uh, I, was, I was actually going there. Kelsey, just from your perspective, I mean, can you review the one at bat, but uh, just the fact that you were keeping your team in the game through the rest of the way? Well, the girl uh, definitely made a good swing, and the pitch was a little high, so she hit it right over. And, um, you know, it, it happens, so you just got to flush it and move on to the next batter. Kind of off of what, this is for Kelsey, what Coach Lawson was just talking about, what was your mentality, you know, knowing you were going to be facing a pitcher as good as, as Jackie is, and what was it like to just pitch in this game at that high of a level? Well, um, I love playing games that, uh, you know, it's a good matchup. Um, every team here is good. Um, so, I don't know. I just, I think that we played well, and I think we can come back tomorrow and fight. For the players and coach, you can mention it too, but just talk a little bit, if you would, about the frustration. You finally break through, you load the bases in the seventh. What were you feeling at that point and then dealing with the fact that you just couldn't push anything across? Silver, do you want to start? Sure. Um, I think the game could have went either way. We fought, we fought hard, and yeah, we came up short, but I think that um, we'll come out tomorrow and we'll play strong and we'll start strong, and we can win a couple of games. Um, I agree with Silver. Um, I hope that we can just carry the momentum that we had at the end of the game to till, till tomorrow. Well, I think my bubble thought at the time was um, it was awesome loading the bases. But I think sometimes um, when you get into that situation, I think sometimes people – I thought Gaines' at-bat was good. I thought, she, I thought she battled for a long time, and then she got froze up by the changeup a little bit. I think she wasn't expecting it because – um, Jackie hadn't thrown a lot of those all evening. And I, and I thought that was a really key out for Alabama. And then still, though, with less than two outs, I just think the fact that they were able to turn the double play, I mean, it just that's the way it goes. You know, we have one missed pitch, and they hit a home run, and then the game ends on a double play. That's the way softball should be played. I thought it was an outstanding TV game. You know, you always want to be, you know, you always hope for the grand slam or, or the hit in the gap that would have cleared the bases, and I wish we would have been um, on the other winning end of it. But either way, that that game was going to either end on a tremendous either defensive play or was going to end on a tremendous offensive play. So I, lo I personally like it when games end that way. You know, I wish we were on the winning end of it. But with that said, it was a clean game. It was a clean play, and we did everything the right way. And I think it was a great game for TV. Anything else?